Welcome back to Mel's Kitchen, my fellow at-home chefs, where it's restaurant quality cooking made at home. Go ahead and click that like and subscribe button so you can always have a seat at our table. Today we are making armadillo eggs. I am so excited. Let me get right into how we make this dish. First, you're going to drop in 16 ounces of cream cheese. That's going to be your very first thing and you want to make sure that it's not hardened. I've had that sitting out for about an hour. And then you're going to add in some sharp cheddar cheese. I'm going to put about a cup of that, but I'll have all of your actual ingredients in the description box below, so make sure you check that out. I'm also going to add in some onion powder. Next, we're going to add some, some chives. Then we're gonna add in a little bit of parsley. You wanna make sure it's seasoned, so you wanna put some salt and pepper in. I've still got that pink Himalayan salt. A little bit of ground pepper. And again, this is what's gonna go inside of our jalapenos. And then the last thing I'm gonna add in is some minced garlic. I'm going to take all of that and I'm going to mix it up. All right, guys, so this is all done. I'm going to take this and set it aside just for a minute. And now I'm going to go ahead and focus on my meat. So I'm using Tennessee Pride sausage. I'm going to use the hot kind because I do want some spice in this. And you can use whatever kind of sausage you want, but you do want the sausage just like that. You don't want to use any other kind of like, um, what do you call it, like sausage kebabs or anything like that. I'm going to take half a pack of ground beef and I'm going to add that in there as well. And then I'm going to season it. So I'm going to start with Tony's Great on Everything. You want to make sure you've seasoned your meat really good because this is what's going to be outside of your almond. This is what's going to be outside that's wrapped in bacon. I've got some pepper that's here. I'm even going to put minced garlic in this as well. I'm going to put onion chives in this also. Onion powder. And then minced onion. And I'll probably put just a little bit more in there off camera. And then I'm also going to use paprika. Now, I would typically use smoked paprika, but I didn't have any. So if you guys have smoked paprika, use that instead. And then I'm going to mix this all together too. All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to make this. This is an armadillo egg. This is what we're making, and let me show you how. So I'm gonna set this one to the side. I had to go ahead and make one to make sure that I wasn't gonna mess it up. I've got my jalapenos. All I did was cut the top off of it and take the insides out. Can you guys see that? On all of these. Now what I learned is that I'm gonna need to split it open just a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and split it. I'm gonna take a small spoon with my cheese that I have and I'm going to insert that cheese in here. I want to fill it all the way up. So I'm kind of pressing down on it to fill it. I'm pressing it all the way down in that egg. It's not an egg yet, I guess, in the jalapeno. And then once I get it all the way in there, I'm gonna take my meat that I made and get me a handful of it like this. And I'm just gonna work it around the entire thing. And then when I don't have enough, I'm just gonna scoop in a little bit more 
to make sure it's fully covered. You want to make sure all sides are covered. And it looks like a lot, nice little ball. See that? Now, once you've got your little ball, you're going to take your bacon. Yes, that's right. I said bacon. And I'm going to cover it. So I start out with wrapping it this way, all the way around long ways. And then once I've got it, I'm going to just bring it around. And then it looks like on all of them, it's going to take two pieces. When I have a piece that's left over, I try to tuck it underneath the first piece of bacon. I'm going to get me another slice and keep going until it is completely wrapped in bacon. And then I'm going to air fry these. Oh my goodness. And then I'm going to find something to tuck this piece into. So I'm going to tuck it here. You can use toothpicks to keep them as well. And this is my armadillo egg. All right, guys, I just wanted to make sure you know that wrapping this in bacon is the most important part because if you don't wrap it properly, everything will still spill over and fall out. So again, I'm taking this, I've wrapped it all the way around this way, all the way back to where it originally was, and then I can take it and start to turn it and put it over here. I'm using at least two pieces of bacon on some, just depending on how big the jalapeno was, I have had to go ahead and use an extra piece. Whenever I start my second piece, I flip that first one up and put it underneath it. And then I'm gonna continue to go around, getting all of the areas because you know it's gonna be grease coming out of this. And like this one is a pretty big one as well. So I'm gonna have a little bit of extra space. So I've got a half a piece of bacon that I'm gonna use to finish wrapping this around. Again, lifting that last piece up, up under it, and then going around and getting anything that was missed, making sure that it's fully covered. If I needed to, I'd put a toothpick here, but I've got an end piece here, so I can literally just wrap it under it. And that is a fully wrapped piece that's ready to be put in the air fryer. You guys see that? Okay guys, look at this. Look how beautiful that is. You know what time it is. Hubby, what do you think about this so far? Happy Easter. I had an Easter egg hunt. I found my egg. And now I'm about to cut it open. Wow. I wonder what's inside. Let's see. You want a diamond cut or you want a milk? I don't care. All right. Woo! So juicy. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. I'm so happy. <laughs> happy Easter. Oh my god, I just gotta look at him. Look at that again. It's smoking. Hold it's, on, let me get the camera zoom in on it. Like it's burning my fingers. Mm-hmm. That is spectacular. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm gonna have to take another bite. <laughs> I 
I hope during your next Easter egg hunt that well, you eat the Easter morning that this comes in your Easter basket because um this listen it's so good I can't wait to have another bite I'm going to go ahead and end this video so I can finish this in peace without y'all bothering me make that.